Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. In my video drawer making, I introduced a plane that's used to cut the groove on the drawer side to house the bottom. We've had a lot of requests for them, so we now actually provide them on our website. There are faster ways to cut this groove, but there are none quite as fun. It's a nice little plane. It's easy to operate. Now, the settings on it are fixed, which means the blade is a quarter of an inch wide. You're going to get a quarter inch groove. It's set to cut a quarter of an inch deep and the fence has it up from the bottom edge three-eighths of an inch. Nothing really is adjustable. It's a simple piece of uh, kit. You've got a maple body with a mortise down through it. You have a wedge, in this case made out of paduk, that holds a fairly thick iron in place. The uh, part that runs on the wood is a little bit narrower than the blade, so as I sight down here, I see blade exposed on three sides. That's essential for it to work. If you want to remove the uh, iron, a simple tap on the back of the plane will jar or unlock the blade. The blade is uh, just able to slip down that mortise. There's no side to side slop or very little. So you don't have to worry about adjusting it one way or the other. Get it so that it's almost out. Take your wedge, put the wedge in place. I hold it like so. Get it fairly close. Just a slight tap on the back of the wedge will lock it. And then using a brass hammer, I advance the blade until I just start to see some blade protrude. If I'm working a really difficult wood, I'll have it set for very light, uh, very, very light setting. If I'm dealing with a wood that's easy to plane, this is a piece of pine, then I can do it. I can obviously take a heavier cut. When I get it where I want it, I want to make sure that that blade is locked in place with the wedge. Use the fence on the side uh, to make sure that your plane is, uh, the iron is going into the wood perpendicular. Start at the very back. And like you would with any plane, you want to make sure that you keep the plane parallel to the work. That little shaving comes out the side, and in no time you're down to depth. The other nice thing about this is your depth on the groove is going to be uniform all the way because the plane will continue to cut until it bottoms out right here. Nice little tool, light, easy to use. Um, you can make them yourself if you want, or if you would like to, you can order one off our website. Enjoy it.